This is one of the most amazing and inspiring stories I've ever heard. I first encountered it in Ian Fraser's book, On the Res. Sue Ann Big Crow was a young Ogallala Lakota woman, superb basketball player. Even in eighth grade, she was so good that they put her on the varsity team. But when she got into high school, she was, of course, one of the stars. And they used to play some away games off the reservation, and one of them was in Leeds, South Dakota. Apparently, it was a very tight gymnasium, and there was a huge crowd, and they were hostile, and there were racist epithets thrown. This is all before the Lady Thorpes even came on. The captain of the team was a close friend of, of Sue Ann Big Crow, and she said, I can't do this. I just can't do this. And Sue Ann said, well, I'll do it. I'll, I'll lead. And so she took the ball, and her friend always said, don't, don't embarrass us. She went right to the center circle and stopped, almost created a domino effect of the girls behind her. And she looked up at that hostile crowd, and she took off her um, warm-up jacket, and she put it over her shoulder, and she did a traditional Lakota shawl dance. And then this thing happened, the whole auditorium went silent, and everyone, including her own teammates, just stood back and watched her in this moment of grace and courage and pride. When she finished, she did the traditional loop around the gym and threw in the layup, and the crowd went wild. They began to cheer. She had turned this hostile crowd with her grace, and they won the game, <laughs> the Lady Thorpes. And as her teammates later said, when they came back to Leeds, they, they now had friendships with the, the students at Leeds, and, and the girls would hang out together and have pizza. In 1989, with uh, Sue Ann Big Crow in the lead, they won the state Class B girls basketball championship, which is, if you know anything about rural America, that's like the biggest thing that can happen to a small town. Sue Ann also went on to win Miss South Dakota basketball, which is another coveted prize. And then in 1992, when she was just under 18 years old, she was driving uh, east on I-90 near Murdo, South Dakota. Nobody knows quite what happened, but uh, she rolled the car. And nobody was wearing seat belts. She was thrown into the median and died later that day. Sue Ann Big Crow loved her life here. She was proud. She, she wanted to talk about happy towns, and she wanted a, a youth center where the kids could go and play video games and badminton and volleyball and kickball and, and basketball, just someplace safe to hang out in and to exert all of their incredible energy. And so after she died, um, people here put together this place. This is the Sue Ann Big Crow Youth Center. It's just an amazing story. If you haven't read uh, Ian Fraser's book on the res, uh, this would be a good time to pick it up and read it because the second half of the book is largely about what happened in Lead. This is the heart of the Pine Ridge Reservation and she's a hero here and has been a source of extraordinary inspiration to other young Ogallala and, and Lakota boys and girls.